Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tiberius. We're doing another recipe from Red Dead Online and this one is gonna be Stew of the Earth. For those unfamiliar with the inspiration for today's recipe, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an all-time best-selling vast open-world game set in the 1899 American Wild West. It tells the story of a gang of outlaws and their turbulent journey. The game has a multiplayer component where players can engage in many of the time-appropriate activities, both wild and mundane. Today we're making one of the 15 special stews a player can cook at their campsite, using the three ingredients one can find in the game as well as augmenting the recipe to get it as close as possible to what this stew might have been like during those times. So let's get started! For the meat, we will need some beef cubed up. The game calls for wild carrots. There's not much wild carrots that I could find, so we'll just have to do with these organic fresh carrots. And we will need some babelette, uh, which are mushrooms you can find in the game also. Um, I couldn't find any fresh ones. The dried ones will also do just as fine. They'll rehydrate in the stew and add that nice, nice savory flavor. Furthermore, we will need two cloves of garlic, one large onion, a nice Cuban all pepper, two large field tomatoes. We'll also need some celery. We'll be cooking it in rendered duck fat. Yeah, you can use pork lard, bacon grease, hell, even chicken fat if you want. For the spices we have red paprika, powdered coriander seed, parsley flakes, caraway seeds, fresh black pepper, seasoning salt, and for the secret ingredient we have some red wine. Let's get prepping first. Next we'll do the celery. Next we'll get our pepper. Chop the top off, gut it, and cut it. Next we'll dice these two tomatoes, cut them in half, look at, look at those, beautiful. Remove the stem, just like that, set it aside, throw it away, you don't need it anymore. And dice. Beautiful diced tomatoes, look at that. These can be set aside on the cutting board. The only thing left is the garlic. What you gotta do is smash them down. Peel. So let's start cooking. Take it on a nice medium heat. I'm gonna put our duck fat in. A nice spoonful, maybe a spoon and a half. Let's try an onion. You can tell that the fat is not yet hot enough. So we'll wait until it heats up. And then we'll dump all the vegetables in it, all the onions in it. Now that you can tell it's heated up, the onions are ready to go into the into the fat.
once you can tell the onions are starting to caramelize you can dump the celery in also there's no real secret in which order to add the ingredients to a stew uh, that's the beauty of it you can just dump it all in together in a crock pot and let it go for an hour or two but I have more of a hands-on approach where I add things one by one and then I keep an eye on things as they cook we're waiting for those onions to caramelize um, before we add our meat I tell you what it's already starting to smell real good That's all it takes for people to think you know what you're doing. Just dump some onions in some hot grease and let it go. And it's just... This is what we're looking for. Let's add the beef. Ooh. Ooh, that sizzle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cast iron gets quite hot, so I need to hold it while I stir the beef in there. Oh yeah, there we go. It's already searing up nice. So now that the beef is starting to look really good, it's browned up very nice, I'm gonna add the peppers. We're gonna add the garlic. We're gonna add the tomatoes. And also, don't forget the mushrooms. Now that we have most of our ingredients cooking in there, it's time to season it with spices and everything else. So we're gonna add the paprika. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of caraway seeds. A dash of coriander powder. parsley flakes a bit of seasoning salt you can use just regular salt I like seasoning salt and a little bit of ground fresh pepper and let's not forget the wine I'd say a cup is enough. And lastly, here's the part where most people will tell you to add some kind of chicken or beef stock to your stew. It's not gonna lie, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Because if you did everything right, if your ingredients are on point, there's meat, there's vegetables, there's spices, there's uh, all kinds of flavors in there you really shouldn't need anything extra in there so what I do when I cook it uncovered and I know it will evaporate eventually I add a little bit of water just so that it doesn't splash all over the place And finally, I'll add my carrots as well. Wild carrots. Ain't that beautiful already? We are about 30 minutes in. Uh, it's time to check on the meat. It's time to check on the vegetables. And it's time to give this to a stir. As 
you can tell the vegetables are starting to melt and that's exactly what we want we want them to just lend their richness to the sauce when is the stew done you might ask the meat determines that once the meat is done the stew is done the beef needs quite a long time to cook to be tender um, anywhere between an hour and a, two hours sometimes even more it depends on how low you're cooking it on hopefully ours will be ready in about half an hour to an hour this is exactly what we want we want this nice rich reddish brown earthy uh, color stew of the earth right we'll do it justice if you find that your stew is becoming a little too thick and it's going all over the place uh, just replenish some more water you can determine now if it'll need more of any of the spices or more of the salt um, let's try hmm. ours is perfect as it is all right it's been roughly two hours since we've left this stew on a slow simmer and uh, occasionally checking in on it of course stirring it replenishing some water if it got a little too thick but let's take a look and see if it's ready yet Just the sauce has naturally thickened up without any flour needed uh, the meat looks tender we won't know until we try I'd say this is probably good to eat now look at that beautiful beautiful earth earthy colored stew until the mushrooms have soaked up nice gorgeous let's try it Here it is folks, stew of the earth. All that's left now is to try it. Mmm. Look how rich that sauce is. You can really taste the earthiness of it all. Everything is working so well together. You can taste the wine, the vegetables, the meat is tender. This one's a good one. Can't wait for y'all to try it. Alright, I'm gonna go finish this up and I'll catch you guys in the next one.